Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming Terrain. Guys, welcome back. You have tuned into the right channel. I've had a cut and trim. Um, this is the weekly Wednesday Wargaming Q&A. For everyone that's new, this is an off-the-cuff video. So I film it and I upload it. Um, there is no fantasy editing skills. You won't see my intro symbol at the beginning or anything like that. Now at the moment, it's been raining heavy the whole day. So I've, I've waited for it to, it's not stopped, but it's just a bit lighter so I can start filming. You can hear me properly. I do have a transition button so I can stop if it gets a bit too much. Now these weekly Wednesdays, for everyone that's new, basically a Q&A. You guys ask me questions, I answer them. There is some model question, there is uh, terrain questions from time to time. There is some information about myself and what's going happening around the workshop. These weekly Wednesdays are primarily model focused. And they are 99% of the time GW stuff. And it is primarily 40k. Well, not the models you see usually are 40k because 40k is the highest thing at the moment and it's just about to explode even more. Um, before I go any further, let's go on to remind you guys I'm still doing commissionless builds, commission painting, and custom terrain pieces. Let me break it down for you. So, let's build. If you haven't seen this build video, go check one out. Um, if you want that service, just message me and you know we'll have a chat. The painting, um, I can paint so it's battle ready. Go straight on the table, ready to go, or take it beyond battle ready. Now, even at battle ready standard, you could then take it away and dry brush it and um, edge highlight and wash it and whatever else you want to do. Again, message me for that service. Now, custom terrain pieces. I made some crazy terrain pieces. And I plan to make loads more. I've got loads of loads of bits pieces lined up. What's slowing me down at the moment is I need to get the filament printer. It's finished, it's built. But I've turned it on and it's telling me there's the, the plate can't heat up properly. So I think that's something I've done wrong. Um, it might be a screw that, a bolt that I need to loosen, or it might just be something I might have to go in and turn the temperature to make it right, or it could be just too cold for it to heat up properly. I don't know. But I said any cubic cobra so if anyone has that printer or knows of that printer chuck a comment below let me know and we'll have a chat and you can just tell me what i'm doing wrong but the plan is once i've got that up and running i've got a free scanner here um i can set that up and, and start making stuff for the channel and freely scanning it and offer it up to you guys as a, as a product you know that's but i'm just i'm a i'm past the printer stage i've got the printers they're built it's just the little teething areas and just getting it getting it right basically um so i was very pleased with that printer when it went up and i put it together and everything else but it just it came on it didn't go bang this time which is great but just there's a few tv problems like i said so I just, and it's all there but with the resin printer the only cubic photon i had the same problem i, I put it on and well it's not the same problem i put it on and i couldn't figure out why is it not printing and it's only because the, the table wasn't quite level so it wasn't able to print but that's sorted now it's just working on the other one and then as soon as that's ready i can then i would then start doing you know terrain builds and, and putting them up on the channel for you now some terrain builds won't be um let me free to print that because it might be too big but some of them will be able to be 3d printed and you know that, that's the we're in business then Okay, so let me ask some questions from you guys. Um, are you not building any world eaters anymore? No, I am. I will be. Um, I've still got chaos world eater, chaos space marines, and I've still got jackals to build, and the guy on top for the juggernaut. Now, I can't just keep throwing out world eaters. I have to switch them between. At the same time, saying yeah, I've got sisters I need to squeeze in there somewhere. And it's just not, there's not enough time in, in the day for me, enough time in the week, because I have a full-time job and I have a seven-year-old and, you know, it's a lot trying to juggle everything. Um, but I, my aim is to do one thing and then go to something else and then go back, you know, I need to have some sort of rhythm, rhythm with it. At the moment, I'm building, I've started building the Brutalis Dreadnought. Because this weekend, this Saturday, should be 
the pre-order box from last week should be arriving up, which is the Dark Angels um, and I can never pronounce this guy's name, but it's the, the new model, the Demon of the Forge. You know, hit that box should be coming up. So I don't want to be if I get the precise dreadnought done, I can then go on to something else and then go. Then when that box arrives up, I can jump straight in that box and just get one model done from there and move to something else and then go back because I find. If I'm doing the same faction, let's build, let's build the same faction again and again, people get annoyed with it and they're not too happy with it. But, you know, I mean, I've, I've still got all of this to get through, which is an absolute, you know, I'm, I'm happy they've got this lot to get through. But at the same time, I see it and go, oh, where do I start? Where do I start? If this was full time, this lot, I'd be ploughing through this lot so quick, not quickly, but I'd be ploughing through it. You'd get three or four less builds a week, um, probably two painting videos, a terrain build, and the week of Wednesday. So I would be doing, I'd be very busy. You'd be getting a lot, lot of content from me, but we're not quite there yet. We're 497 at the moment, which is absolutely fantastic. Which brings me to my next point. If you're seeing this and you haven't subscribed to the channel, guys, hit the subscribe button. It costs you absolutely nothing, and it helps the channel out in a massive, massive way. And turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything because like i said i always try and switch it around and change it up and do different things but to give you an idea i've got a sprue here this is the brutalis dreadnought sprue <laughs> okay so it is a, a big build but there are some of these parts are extra i mean look at that chassis there absolutely fantastic okay and where's the other one there's the other one there like that absolutely fantastic but then you've got pieces like like this piece here yeah absolutely fantastic there's a in the video that i'm filming for it i've actually shown you the stat line and the cost of it and everything else and it's it's absolutely mental what this model can do um looking at pen to paper now i was showing alex and he said to me get it built get it built and don't even wait for the vote just get it built and do a painting video on it and get it painted um because he's quite keen to see it go up against some of the things that he's faced on the battlefield in a game that have given him trouble like bloodfester um which would be a, <laughs> an insane matchup considering that model stat line the protagonist stat line um the forge fiend you know, Gopek, Heavy Destroyer Lord, those type of things that he's come across has given him a problem. He wants to see what the Protalis can do against them. So do I. Um, but yeah, that's... <laughs> anyway, did you see the new 40k trailer? What are your thoughts on it? I'm, I'm hyped. I'm super hyped. But I will say this, guys. 24th of June is when it's meant to be up for pre-order. What I'm going to say to you is, don't expect it to be 150 euro. Okay, I'm expecting it to be around 200. The reason why is they released Horus Heresy with a vast amount of models, and there was I think it was 200 euros. So I'm expecting that to be the same. I'm expecting the 10th edition to be, you know, 200 euros, maybe 220, something in that area. I don't want it to be, but I'm expecting it to be there. So there's a few months left now. Just, you know, keep chucking that, that change into the jar. 10 quid a week, 20 quid a week, whatever, into the jar. So when it's ready for free or date, you've got the money for it. Because um, it's going to be... <laughs> it's going to be mind-blowing. In the trailer, if you haven't seen the trailer, guys, go and check it out. There's a face of a Tyranid, and it zooms into his eye, and you can see a Terminator in his eye. Now, I don't think they're going to be primary as Terminators. I think it's going to be the normal first-born Terminators, but they're going to be, I think they're going to be bigger. Which is, some people are going to give out and say, well, I've got these Terminators, and... You know, they're going to be smaller and they're going to look silly. No, because if you look at the different power armors, you know, MK1 power armor, MK2, MK7, all that sort of stuff, they're all slightly scaled different, but they're still the same thing. To me, if you turned up with, you know, the lead Terminators that I have, you know, the 7th edition Terminators, 8th edition, or whatever they were, and then the new ones, they're all Terminators. It doesn't bother me. You know, that's just the way it is. But the new models will be cool will be absolutely amazing. Um, your paint job on the Hive Tyrant, is that going to be your own Hive Fleet? 
but it, I think you mean the brood uh, swarm lord. But anyway, yes, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to paint you up to be, oh, it's Leviathan or it's Behemoth or it's, I'm not going to do that. I want to do my own high fleet. So it's my own way of doing it. The same with the Eldari, like the Guardians and everything else. I don't want to do them a certain craft world. I want to do my own craft world. You know, they, you, can, you can do that. So that's, that's what I want to do. Now, the Chaos Space Marines are throwing for Legion just because it is. I, I like that Legion. Um, my, Chaos Space, my Space Marines are successor chapter, which again is because I want my own chapter. I don't want to follow the box standards of everyone else doing doing this or doing that. And I think the especially like Space Marine, their own chapter is successor chapter is actually fantastic. But with that said, when I painted the Dark, Dark Reapers, I just I painted them. But looking at it now. I would have probably gone different colours and just been totally different to the to normal to make them really, uni really unique. Same with the, the Banshees. I'm not going to do them with the bone armour and the red hair and all that. Two reasons. One, because I want it to be my own my own way of doing it. Two, because I know how annoying <laughs> trying to get bone armour is, you know, screaming skull because that's especially in chapter. I don't know how annoying that is. So I'll be doing them some crazy colour, but it's not you're going to see what they are they're going to be able to tell what they are but it's going to be like wow that's that's an amazing paint job yeah um, with the rogue dawn battle tank they're painting on this video first of all massive thank you to everyone that's viewed it it's over 100 views absolutely fantastic i was just a little bit disappointed with it because i was going for a desert theme and i sort of didn't get what i wanted um so i didn't change it because i wasn't happy which is you know if you're not happy with the way you're painting something put it down leave it for a little bit then come back and have a look um, but now the contrast paint's dried on it and I've had a good look at it it looks absolutely fantastic I actually really like it and I just I'm just thinking like oh do I the next one do I get do I paint it the same sort of way or do I just go a different style and just have a different color like a red one or a purple one or just to make them different on the battlefield I don't know but I'm really happy with it but anyway, I just waffled on a little bit there um, Imperium Magazine is inbound okay now here, here's what happened in Imperium Magazine which is very annoying they sent it out to me in January I think it was the last one I got um, did nothing since so I phoned them I said what's the story here they couldn't take payment for it so I, oh, you've set up the right debit so you can take payment and what's going on so I, so, I, so I paid for that so that should be inbound um, and then when it when it arrives, I've got to give it a deal to them, phone them, and make sure the payment's gone out for it. However, there's some sneaky news here that I was told that I was told you never heard it from me. But here's the sneaky news: it's 80 issues. Okay, they've extended it by another 10, so it's going to be 90 issues. So I don't have no idea what's coming in those last 10 issues. I have no idea, and it's, it's actually all oh, this, you know, pretty good. Which would probably mean that those last ten issues would could probably fall when um, just just as ten editions coming out, which would be fantastic. Especially if it's like a one or two from from that would be great. But I don't know what's going to be in there. So that's all the questions I have for this week. What I'm going to do now is bring you down and show you the vote. Now, guys, I absolutely love it when you guys do the vote when you vote on models. But I'm going to bring you down and show you the vote. Now, the rules for voting are simple. Which I comment below on this video. Um, just tell me I, I, I vote for X, Y, Z. Now it can be you can vote for more than one model. You can say, let's say there was two Space Marine HQs there. You could say any any one of those two. Um, don't say to me I vote for everything because it's not going to count. But the voting has to come into me by two o'clock Friday. Okay, because that's when I have a look and say, okay, who's voting for what? What's have, what's won the votes? And then I start prepping the model really for Monday's painting video. I say that, but I, I need to get the retired general finished first. Um, it's a, <laughs> it's a, this is as far I've got with it, so far. <laughs> it's a big build. Anyway, I'm going to bring down and show you the models for up, that are up for vote this week. 
Right, so I've changed it up a little bit just to make it a bit fresh every week. Take some models out, put a few different ones in there. So we have Kingpin that I built. We have Chaos Knights. There's more than one as a unit of these guys. We have the Eldari Altark. We have the Farseer. We have the Lictor. We have the Banshees. We have the Horrors at the back there. I mean, there's only one Banshee and one Horror there, but they do represent the unit. We have the Lord Typhus. We have Angron, Mr. Angry Man himself. We have the Commissar that I just built on the channel. Unit of Chaos Space Marines. Demonettes. Uh, Sergeant Ripper Jackson. The Engine Seer. The um, Plague Bearers. Zodkod Wartsnagger. We have this mad by bad boy, Abaddon, or Abaddon, however you pronounce him. We have the Chronomancer. We have the Space Marine Lieutenant. We have Eight Bound. We have the Giant. And we still have the Doomstalker. Right, and there is a wild card. Now, the wild card only gets revealed if it's very done. Um, that's the way, guys. So if you have any questions for me, Check on below and I'll either answer them straight away if, you, if I feel you need to answer or I will answer it next weekly Wednesday. Or you can go on to Unique Wargaming Terrain Facebook page. There's a message button there. You can hit that and you can message me directly. And then again, I give the same thing. You can answer straight away or I'll you know, put it up for next week's uh, weekly Wednesday. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone that's, you know, continued support. It actually means so much to me. For everyone that's new looking at this for the first time, hit the buttons for me, guys, because it really help, helps the channel in a massive, massive way. And don't forget to vote. Until next time, take it easy, guys.